It's the Diamond K Show, sometimes controversial, but always authentic. The Diamond K Show is a music insider's view into the world of business and entertainment, hosted by writer, director, and music entrepreneur, yours truly, Diamond K. Hola, people. Hola. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for logging on. And thank you for listening to the Diamond K Show. Spread the word, y'all. I post new content daily at ustreamradio.com. Today's show is sponsored by youarenotthefatherbook.com. Read the struggles I faced before and after finding out the seven-year-old boy I was raising was not my own. Digital paperback and audio versions are available right now at youarenotthefatherbook.com. With that being said, let's get into today's show. Good evening, everyone. Of course, unless you're listening to this in the morning, yours truly, Diamond K. Scandals Thursdays kicking off tonight's edition of Scandal Season 3, Episode 3. They promised us some type of a, uh, a a wild ending the last 30 seconds, and we got that. We will get to that in a moment. Um, the show today opened with uh, both sides preparing for the upcoming uh, presidential debate. And, um, you know, they showed you both sides uh, of the people preparing for that Um And, you know, what was interesting is that with Scandal, you get a lot of the um, the behind-the-scenes stuff as how things are in politics. And, of course, this is not uh, supposedly based on a true story, but a lot of the things that we see tend to stem from real, you know, real-life motivation, if you will. Now, Olivia found out about what Cyrus did as it relates to covering up Sally Langston's murder of her husband. And uh, Olivia claimed she did not want to be involved at all. And uh, she said that they were all murderers. And I thought that was interesting. The president, the vice president, they're all murderers. And uh, I thought that that uh, that was interesting. But Cyrus made a plea to her after she found out uh, wanting you know wanting her help initially she said that this couldn't have happened because if there was a murderer that needed to cover up that cyrus would have called her but of course um that uh you know was not the case and cyrus did cover up for that so another interesting turn of events olivia's father somehow being connected to sally's campaign and threatening to fire her campaign manager if things did not come out right. Um, Olivia's father, definitely someone who is behind the scenes pulling strings. We don't know where uh, it's going to you know, fully come out, but he definitely wants President uh, Fitz to uh, lose, you know, lose the uh, campaign lose the uh, presidency I cannot help but uh, see the connection the the irony with uh, Fitz's character and the actual uh, former president John F. Kennedy uh, there are a lot of similarities there in the way that the characters are drawn up now Jake several times asked Olivia to run away with him Olivia seemed conflicted and um, going back and forth as it relates to her role in you know the political mess and um, Jake was also talking about how he was affected by what he had to do and Olivia was wondering how did they get to that point where they were Jake repeatedly asked her to run away with him uh, which she obviously did not um A lot of times during this episode and others, especially during this season three, I have questioned the sanity of Sally Langston. 
I actually thought she was crazy and insane. Uh, but I don't think she is. I think that she's a very religious person. I think she's a Bible thumper. But the thing, some of the things that she says, I don't necessarily have a problem with. Now, I don't know whether that means I'm crazy or whether that means she's not crazy. But uh, I can just relate to some of the things that she says. Uh, on the front with B613, they're saying that they sell paper. I thought that that was very uh, amusing and interesting. Cyrus also asked Jake to kill Sally Langston. He refused. Cyrus also said that as much as he disliked Olivia's father in that position, he would have gone ahead and already killed Sally Langston. Uh, but you could feel the suspense building. You could feel that something was going to happen and everything was everything was pointing towards the presidential debate as some type of a climax. Um, Olivia asked Fitz to throw the debate, telling him about the murder and the cover-up, the role that Cyrus played and the role that um, his wife played in the cover-up. He said he was not going to throw throw it, and um, and I believed him. You know, he didn't want to go up there and make himself look like a fool. But um, the thing about it, and Cyrus made a very interesting plea about the, you know, when he was trying to convince Jake to kill um, Sally Langston, he made an interesting plea about how uh, people would, you know, lose faith, and if they found out the murder and the cover-up and the chief of staff this and the the uh, president's wife and and all that kind of stuff and um you know it's i think that that's true to a certain degree and and you can definitely see how things like this can actually happen behind the scenes if you're just tuning in, yours truly, Diamond K. Scandal Thursdays here on the Diamond K Show, a part of the programming here at UStreamRadio.com. However you are listening to this broadcast, please do me a favor, click the like button, share our content. We bring you um, Scandal Thursdays every Thursday immediately following Scandal is when uh, this program is recorded, but you can hear this and other shows on demand at UStreamRadio.com as a part of the Diamond K Show. Now, with that being said, everything linking up and building up to this presidential debate, um, you know, what I concluded is that Olivia does not love Jake and I think he realized that. Once he realized that, I think that he kind of snapped out of his um, knight in shining armor role and went back into the role that he knows best. And that is uh, uh, of a, an assassin, some type of an agent, I guess. That's what it is. But Jake proved that he's able to make the tough decisions. He ordered his White House plant to kill Sally Langston during the debate if she seemed like she was going to admit she murdered her husband there were several moments that she was just kind of stumbling and stuttering and drinking an excessive amount of water but she did not there was something that happened with Fitz and um, Fitz uh, I'm not going to say he threw the debate but he 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 kind of stumbled. He, he was very comfortable talking about his uh, marriage, but uh, he said that he didn't want to talk about hers. He didn't think that would be right, considering that her husband died of a heart attack. And Sally, at one point, this was a very, very uh, suspenseful point in the show. She said she had something to tell the American people there were pauses. Everyone behind the scenes was nervous. The gunman was ready and paused. Finally, Fitz came in and said something about her Bible verses. And um, 
I guess she took that as a sign because it seems like maybe the Lord started to speak to her again because she did not come out and say that. She snapped back and finally became the Sally that her people wanted them wanted uh, wanted her to be. And uh, it appears that she won the debate, snapping out of the funk. Uh, Cyrus also found out his office was bugged and a lot of other things. Now, this is where we get to the climax. And the climax was there was a meeting scheduled. And apparently, David didn't call the meeting. But it was um, a meeting that included Publius, David, the reporters. And during this meeting, which which came right after Cyrus told his husband that he was sorry, sorry for what he had done and apologized and told him how much he loved him and all these good things that um, he went to the meeting and he said at the meeting that he didn't want to go through with this. All he really wanted was an apology. He got it and he didn't want any anything else to do with what was going on. But David is saying, you know, we, we don't want that to happen. We can't do that. You know, all of that good stuff. But uh, the more I think about it and I've talked about it, we, we saw Jake come up. He instantly killed the other two ladies. Then there was one other shot fired either to David or uh, to Cyrus's husband. We don't know who. And that was the cliffhanger. I've debated and gone back and forth as to whether or not it was his husband or whether it was David. David being a prosecutor of some sort, you would think that he wouldn't kill him. But on the on the flip side of that, Cyrus's husband is saying that I don't want to go forward with this. So who would they kill? Would they kill David? who's a prosecutor, I'm going to say no. Would they kill uh, Cyrus's husband? Cyrus went through a long, elaborate uh, apology, but it was sounded almost like a goodbye. So maybe, maybe it was a goodbye. Maybe he had him killed. I'm not sure. We'll definitely find out next week. Hopefully we'll find out next week. I think we will. And um, all of that with the fallout with one of... The most exciting shows on TV, Scandal, yours truly, Diamond K. Check me out online at The Diamond K Show on Twitter and Instagram. Like Ustream Radio on Facebook. I will see you guys tomorrow. If you're listening to us on iTunes or Stitcher Radio, please take a moment to give us a five-star rating or review. We love the feedback. If you're on YouTube, click the like button. Here at Ustream Radio, we bring you exciting programming absolutely free of charge. Log on to UstreamRadio.com today. Thank you for listening, y'all.